being able to capture on it with a digital camera as opposed to a 70 millimeter movie camera is it's enormous. A 70 millimeter camera runs for three minutes before you're out of film. So the animal behavior you capture, you've got three minutes of film to actually do that. That's gonna cost about $5,000 by the time you buy the film, process it, transfer it to a media that allows you to edit it. So it's also very, very expensive. And the camera makes a huge amount of noise. So if the animals you're filming are uh, sensitive to noise, they are not going to be in the film because by the time the camera ramps up the speed, they've already left. The digital camera, on the other hand, costs essentially nothing to operate, and we'll, the camera we're using runs for about 45 minutes before you need to change the card. It makes no sound. Uh, so what we're able to capture as far as behavior is concerned is just much more elaborate than what we could get in 70 millimeter. We have a wider selection of lenses. Uh, the camera smaller allows us to get into tighter places. There's just a huge number of advantages. So, Secrets of the Sea will have animal behavior that we didn't even dream of doing when we were shooting in 70 millimeter. It was only in the last few years that digital camera technology has gotten good enough that it produces images that are as good as 70 millimeter film. So when that happened and the cameras got so much smaller um, and they could run longer and they had image quality that was just as good, there was really no reason to use film anymore. And there are so many great advantages that come with these new generation of cameras for a filmmaker. And one of those advantages is just being able to have more than one camera on a shoot. So because we could have two cameras, Howard and I could work together on a two camera shoot of a single subject with different lenses and different perspectives so that when you get back to the editing part, you can have a lot of options in putting the sequence together from one camera to the other, one lens to the other. So that was just another great advantage to the filmless workflow.